The Swaddling Cape Woodlands is, a, is one of our main forest park sites um, and we're trying to encourage more people into our parks and open spaces and certainly on a day like this, why wouldn't you, you want to come out? So we've um, set up a permanent orienteering course here um, and today is, is, is a, an event that's being run by the Derwent Valley Orienteers which is a local club um, who we've been working with who've actually helped to set up the permanent course um, and it's a, a, basically a free event, come and have a go um, there's people on hand to talk you through how to orienteer and then what we're hoping is that people will go away from today and think, oh, that was brilliant, um, we'll like to come back and we'll try the permanent course. Yeah, well, orienteering is first and foremost people who do enjoy map reading, right, but like a little bit of a challenge with the map reading. Um, it caters for all sorts of people, from family groups to doing it together or individuals or pairs. Um, they have a basic map of an area which is quite a detailed map and on that map is printed a course and they can choose a very simple course that follows footpaths and they can go to more complicated courses where you've got to cut across ground that is rough ground and through woods where you've got to choose your own route so you can choose your own level. There's a, a, a permanent orienteering course at Rosliston Forestry Centre um, and these forest parks are quite well suited but we've also, we're establishing um, a small um, simple course at Eureka Park which is just down the road um, which, which is uh, based on a slightly different format. Um, as a sport we compete against each other, we compete against other clubs, we can compete locally, nationally and internationally. Um, so it's a very wide sport. Um, a minority sport, yes, when you compare us with football and fishing, but still a very popular sport and it keeps you active. The hope is really that, that we can encourage local school groups, local scout groups, local community groups, or just local people to come out and actually enjoy the Forest Park and it gives them another, um, another reason to come out really. Um, with the permanent course being set up as well, they can do things in their own time. If we actually run a, an event that's, that's free and subsidised by the council, then um, it, it's, it's another form of encouragement really and, and it's it's about families coming out together friends coming out to play we've had people coming out who have just been passing and thought we'll give it a go so it's opening up the park to people but it's also um, promoting the sport as well